What are the two conditions needed for an object to be in equilibrium? Well, to answer this flashcard, we need to understand what is meant by the word equilibrium. And this is actually very uh, related to Newton's first law. Because equilibrium is when a body or an object is either at rest, so let's just write that here, equilibrium is where an object is at rest, i.e. it's not moving, stationary, or it is moving at a constant speed, a constant speed but that's important, in a straight line. In a straight line. So that's what equilibrium means. And you can think of it as being balanced. There are balanced forces. And in fact, that's the first requirement for a body to be in equilibrium. The first condition is that the forces acting on the object must be balanced. So number one the forces acting on the object must be balanced and we have a special way of uh, talking about that in physics we say that there is no resultant force is no resultant resultant force. Think of resultant as mean winning or resulting force. For example, if I have a force of 5 newtons acting on a body here and a force of 4 newtons acting that way, then they nearly balance but not quite. The resultant force acting on the, the body is 1 newton acting to the left. That's the, the winning force, if you like. So that would not be in equilibrium. The second condition needed for equilibrium, so that the object is at rest, it's balanced, it's a beam that's balanced on a pivot, for example, is that the um, turning effects, turning effects about a pivot, effects of forces about a pivot, must also balance, must balance. And our special way of, of writing this in physics notation is there is no resultant, no resultant moment. Remember that a moment is a turning effect of a force. So things to take away from this flashcard is that for a body to be in equilibrium, which means it's at rest, or it might be moving at a constant speed, but usually we'll be look, looking at objects which are at rest. The forces must be balanced, which means there is no resultant force or no winning force on the object. And secondly, the, there is no resultant moment. There is no overall turning effect of forces about a pivot. They must balance and cancel each other out. And that's what no resultant moment means there.